Hey everybody, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks and I am here today with a special guest, Matt Gosbell, here at the Melbourne Bird Veterinary Clinic. And today we are going over eight signs that you may have a sick bird. So number one, weight change. What kind of weight change should people look for in a bird? Hopefully you guys are weighing in grams like I've taught mm -hmm. you. Uh, what would show be a sign of sickness as far as weight change? Okay, so keeping an eye on the bird's weight is really important. So any drop in weight um, can mean a disease process is going on. But as well as looking at weight, we look at body condition as well. Um, so we're feeling the chest muscle. If they're dealing with a sickness, they'll lose chest muscle very quickly because it's the biggest muscle in the body, the, the pectoral muscles. Um, whenever I deal with weight, uh, every individual bird is slightly different. So I don't have a weight that an icky should be or a core. Um, I look at their weight, look at their previous weights and their histories um, and also feel their body condition. But certainly a drop of even 10% can be significant. One thing that's very tricky is just looking at your bird and, and looking for them losing weight. It's very hard to see because of their feathers. Yes. They fluff their feathers up and they look the same. So um, often what we tell clients to do is look not only at the eating because the other thing I find is a sick bird that's they're still hungry and they go to the food bowl and they mess it all around the place mm -hmm. but they're not actually eating the food. Yes. So look at the droppings as well. Uh, so the bird should be doing the regular amount of droppings um, and if they're unwell and not passing droppings then they're probably not eating. Yes, and so that's actually number two, is abnormal poops. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk poop. Um, what does an abnormal poop look like? So a lot of people, well first, before you talk about abnormal, perhaps we should talk normal. Yes. So a lot of people don't understand there are actually three components to a bird dropping. Everything comes out of the one hole, they don't have two separate holes on the outside of their body. Um, so that means the urine and the fecal component come out together. Now their kidneys operate very different from ours, so there's two parts of the urine. You'll notice that on a bird dropping you'll get a white component. Yes. So that's actually coming from the kidneys. And you'll get a fluid component, like a ring of fluid around the dropping. Mm -hmm. um, and that also is coming from the kidneys. And then you'll get the dark part, which is the fecal part. So what we're looking for is, um, has the bird got diarrhea? Um, so it'll have a, a very sloppy, sort of dark part to it. If they're doing excessive urine, you'll get a whole lot of extra urine, but you might still have a normal formed fecal component. If you get discoloration of the white part, um, that can be a kidney, but it could also be a dietary problem as well. Okay. Um, sometimes you get change in colour. A change in colour doesn't always mean that there's something wrong. Yes. Um, so <laughs> for birds, for instance, if they have blueberries, will often produce a really bright, uh, sort of blue coloured purpley colored dropping yes um, so don't panic if you've been feeding blueberries if you have a purple dropping come out of the bird exactly we feed a lot of beets That's during right. one of the seasons and so we get those actually yeah, it'll kind of scare you because it. it'll be like that pink reddish dropping which means you know a lot of people have blood but it's yeah. beets uh, um, absolutely so if the dropping is very green particularly if it's got a bit of a fluorescent sort of dark Mm -hmm. color to it um, that's not uncommon into when you've got uh, say liver disease so okay. liver disease can result in those sort of droppings the white part of the dropping becomes very green or yellow that can also mean um, liver problems or it could mean that they're not eating very well so um, the dropping will come become yellow or uh, it can mean an issue with uh, vitamins and minerals as well like deficiency okay. A lot can be told by looking at a dropping grossly, uh, but it shouldn't be overread. Uh, what about well. bubbles in the poop? Does that mean something specific? Is that just gas or what is that? Yeah, bubbles in the poop doesn't really mean anything specific, um, but if you're getting that with other signs and symptoms, it's worth having a check. All right, so number three is changes in appearance. And what kind of changes in the overall appearance of a bird would you look for that would be signs of illness to you that you would, you would notice right away when a bird's okay. brought in? So most commonly birds will fluff up. 
Um, so where, when we get sick, our bodies raise their temperatures. Um, birds need to kind of fluff up and their, their temperatures rise um, by fluffing up. So their appearance, they'll often fluff up, they'll often reduce their motion, put all their energies into keeping themselves warm. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the first things that we do when we treat these birds is provide the warmth for them and that makes a big difference in their demeanor and, the, and their ability to fight disease. Awesome. Is there anything in the eyes, like will they get a little squintier, watery in any sense, anything like that that's kind of what people would associate yep. with people? You know how when you feel bad it's kind of in your eyes first, do, do birds show it in their eyes? Sure. I think uh, it's important to understand that birds are a flight, flight species which means that subtle signs are really important yeah. um, because they will hide all their weaknesses. So even in the home environment, they will tend to hide their sickness. So if you are noticing subtle things, it's important to ask the vet, um, call the vet or go for a vet visit, pick it up early. Because so often I'll find birds will come to me and people will say it's been sick for two or three days. And I'll find when I examine the bird that the bird is close to death and there's very little we can do to save it. Whereas if we saw it a few days earlier when they first saw symptoms, uh, we can do something about it. Okay. I would say another sign is probably loss of appetite. So yep, how absolutely. crucial is this? Is this like a day that the bird's gone with the loss of appetite or how long would you let that go when you start noticing? I wouldn't let a loss of appetite go very long at all. What about any discharge? Uh, now discharge can be really important. So we look for discharge particularly around the mouth, around the nostrils mm -hmm. um, uh, and some um, Subtle discharge can still be very important because when the sinus is built up and they've got sinus disease or problems there, um, it's going to first go down the back of the throat. Um, birds have um, not a hard palate quite like us, they have a slit in their palate that goes right into their sinuses and goes down the back of their throat. So they have a much more communication in, the back, in their mouths than what we do. Mm -hmm. um, so any discharge coming out of their sinuses, they already had some discharge going down their throat already. Um, so discharge, a small amount of discharge could actually mean quite a substantial problem okay. um, because they've already had discharge going down their throat. There's a number of sinus diseases and some very serious sinus diseases that can um, be occurring in that scenario. Would a kind of a snotty sneeze count? So if your bird sneezed and you felt like mucus actually hit you, would that be a sign of discharge or is that kind of like... Yeah, well go? that's important as well because sneezing, um, it depends on the species and the situation, um, but any sort of sneezing is not common. Um, so a little bit of sneezing here and there, it might be from dust and, and a little bit of sensitivity to the environment. Some birds will do that, mm -hmm. um, but if you're constantly getting sneezing and you're getting a bit of discharge, you want to get the bird checked. One of the common big diseases we get is called psittacosis. Uh, so this is an important disease in parrots. Some mm -hmm. parrots can get exceedingly sick with this disease and die. Some parrots can get over it. Um, uh, but the other problem with this disease is it's actually contagious to people and people can get seriously sick from this disease as well. I see this more commonly in newly purchased pets and it's also a stress disease. So some pets can carry this for some time and if they're stressed, the, the disease will start to show up. This is something that I really take with my birds is a lack of activity level. Mm -hmm. So I fly my birds, we fly them outside, yeah. we use them in our shows. So that's usually the first sign to us if it's unwilling to do something that it's normally excited to do. What kind of level of inactivity would you say is a red flag that you would want somebody to bring a bird in? I guess if you're concerned about a change in activity, um, then it's worth considering bringing it in straight away. If you're comfortable though that the bird is still eating very well, it's passing dropping, so don't just look at the eating because sometimes they just spread food. Yeah. If everything else is quite normal, it might be okay to sit and wait and see what's this going might on. might be a rest day. <laughs> and look for any other symptoms. But if in doubt, you're better off to get it seen. Um, birds are very, very good at hiding their illness. So subtle changes are important. Yeah, so just kind of any sort of lethargic looking yep, bird. absolutely. Red flag. Okay, I'm gonna say this is a super obvious one. Unfortunately, it's one that I get on social media a lot, but it's like, hey, I don't think my bird's feeling so well. It's puffed up at the bottom of the cage. Yep. Red flag in right away. Huge red flag. Yes. Um, so birds that are fluffed up at the bottom of the cage are often very sick. And that can happen very quickly. It can also be at a point where the bird's actually been sick for some time and the owners haven't seen the subtle signs okay. and suddenly it's tipped over the edge. 
and it can't hide its disease anymore and it's really sick. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you, Matt. I no appreciate you being here and going over all the details with no me and, and everybody who's watching this. So hopefully this helps set you guys up for success for spotting those illnesses early and always err on the side of caution with these guys. They are it's hard enough to spot these little signs, so just always call your vet if anything feels different to you. Oftentimes with our birds, it's just something that doesn't feel right, and your vet isn't gonna make fun of you for that. They're gonna completely understand, because with birds, they're incredibly sensitive, and sometimes that's the only tell, is that it just doesn't feel like your normal bird's self. Good. Awesome. Absolutely. I have a number Sweet. of people go, mm, it does not right. You're gonna think I'm funny, but it's like, no. Yeah. Cool. Mention most good things, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, we were, I think we were pretty awesome. Nope. <laughs>